it's a seven lit inside of a six tuplet that starts on the third partial of the six tuplet. Nested tuplets. You'd be surprised how many requests I get to teach nested tuplets. So I'm gonna do that today. So say we're playing a triplet, um, and say the triplet, the speed would be So that's your triplet. That's gonna be your base. The outside, I guess you could call it, the outside tuplet. So say. And then say you wanna put a fivelet inside of that triplet. Um, and you wanna start it on the second partial of the triplet and you want it to go all the way to the next count. Take out the last count like this. So all you will hear is the first two partials of the triplet that we have in our metronome. So what you want to do now is just sit there and hack away a fivelet that starts on that second right there. And then it'll take you to the next downbeat. Boom, right there. So play a regular triplet first. And then just keep the sticking alternating. And then that itself is a nested tuplet. It at a slower tempo, it seems like you're playing just a five lit on in three four. But I mean, take up the tempo to three fifty six. We should probably take out the accents so that we're not like seems unnecessary. I mean, you could. It's possible to be relaxed, but we could jelly roll it like uh, right, left, left, right, right, left. Just so it's a little bit easier at that faster tempo, or if you want to just single it out at whatever height you can. For now, I'm just going to do the jelly roll. And there you go. So that's just one of many nested tuplets that you can play. Uh, for the fun of it, I'll show you another nested tuplet that I've written before. I actually wrote it in my last post, which you should go check out. It's a seven lit inside of a six tuplet that starts on the third partial of the six tuplet. And there you go. I know, that's so many words. Let me just demonstrate. So I have my metronome set to 6-4 to simulate that six tuplet that's gonna be the outside. And the seven lit will start on the third partial. So right now, the six tuplet on my metronome is And the actual piece that was written faster than this, I'm just slowing it down to demonstrate. So since it starts on the third partial, I will take out the last three um, counts in this metronome. So, so the sticking for the first three partials of the six tuplet are just gonna be two high rights and then one low left. And then that seven lit, the sticking will be a roll with a turnaround to get to the downbeat and it's just gonna be right left. Uh, so it'll be left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, and it slightly crescendos. So at this tempo, so that first left, is where that seven lit starts, starting on that roll. And then that's your seven lit that's inside of the six tuplet. Um, and the piece, it was written. So hopefully this give you guys a good understanding on how to practice these nested tuplets. It might not come naturally at first, but the more you practice at the slower tempos, it'll eventually come. 
the first time I saw these things, I didn't even I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to practice them. I didn't understand them at all. The first time I saw them was actually from David Parker. He writes some of the best music I've ever seen. Not a sponsor, but you should seriously invest in buying one of these. This is his volume two book. I have his volume one book. Seriously, they're they're so fun to play. Um, I will put the link to his website to buy these in the description. Hopefully this helped and thank you for watching.